Dragons. Good morning everybody and welcome to a new video. Today is going to be a drive with me. This is my first drive with me. Sorry about the lighting. So today I have a few little errands to run. I have to go and get a few bits and bobs for some upcoming videos. And I have to go to the post office today. I went out yesterday and I, I forgot to get a few bits. So I'm gonna have to go out now and do that. I basically wanted to speak about the Netflix series, You. So I watched it and I finished it all. It took me about a week. I was really intrigued to begin with. Like I was really enjoying it. I was like, oh, okay, like this is really weird. Like I've never seen anything like this before. Like this was it, really weird. I was just like, this is crazy like this is mad and then i was like so excited to see what happens next and the ending was just so crap i was just like what i was like no that can't be it so like i'm hoping that they bring out a second series because if not just be a bit of like a waste of time because i feel like the ending wasn't that good i don't know that's my personal opinion but anyway i need to find another netflix series to watch i've already watched um, pretty little liars i loved that one i already watched vampire diaries i absolutely loved vampire diaries so 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 much like if you know me you know that i adore vampire diaries and i just i can't wait for the next season like it's it's been too long now but i feel like i've genuinely forgotten everything so i feel like i need to recap and watch everything again but obviously that's so time consuming and i just don't have the time to do that maybe i'll just have to go on youtube and watch like recap clips i don't know maybe something like that but I definitely need to recap before the next season comes out and I am so excited for it someone's been raving on about that Orange is the New Black I don't know how I feel about that one I mean I tried giving it a go but I just got bored and same with Game of Thrones everyone's been going on about that one to watch and the originals I haven't watched that but apparently it's very similar to Vampire Diaries so maybe I might give that one a go but I just don't want to get everything confused Black Mirror I started watching that but I was a bit confused as to why every episode was different and then I realised that it was like it wasn't in a connecting series it was one with a different episode every time with a different ending and a different storyline all that Black Orphan I loved Black Orphan Black Orphan was so good but it was a bit like one of those ones that drags on same as Gossip Girl Gossip Girl was good but I only got to like season 3 and then I was like oh I'm sick of this this is just dragging on for too long now like come on Right now I'm just heading up to the post office to post a few parcels and then I will head off to River Island because I need to get some bits and bobs for my placement. Oh. I'm not going to our parking space. Side squeeze, can I get in? Yes I can. Well done Taylor. So guys, I will let you know when I am back. Okay guys, the weirdest thing just happened to me ever. So I was coming out of the post office, right? And this man comes round the corner out of nowhere and he's got this tropical parrot on his shoulder and it's real and I'm like, okay. And then, like, that's a bit unusual. And this parrot, I'm not even joking you, turns around and says to me, hello. And the owner was like, oh, what did I tell you about saying hello to strangers? Oh my god, it was the weirdest thing going. Like, I haven't seen anything like it before. How weird. So now I have to go to another post office because the one I went to doesn't post the parcel I want to post. It's so cold, you guys. Like, it's freezing. So my course at university is September to September and throughout the whole year we only have eight weeks off. So for Christmas I had three and a half weeks off and I went to Disneyland Paris with my boyfriend which was amazing. And we were delayed because of the drones at Gatwick which was amazing. And my next holiday is um, the 20th of May to the 26th of May. And I have a holiday in August which is the end of August until the beginning of September. So I really want to go on holiday but I don't really know where to go, like I want to go to Zanti or to Spain or to the Canary Islands or you know somewhere like that. 
So I've come home for the weekend just to help out my parents uh, as they've had to go away for like a holiday work thing and I've had to look after the puppy which has been absolutely fine because she's been such a gem. I've just been watching some movies on Netflix just to kind of let time pass by. I watched a movie called Every Day. I definitely recommend it. It was actually really good. I don't really watch movies a lot because I, I actually do find them quite boring, like sitting and watching movies. I don't know what it is, but I've never really been one to sit and watch movies. But that genuinely was good, so I definitely recommend. I now need to find another parking space and I have no idea where to park. Let's have a look down here. So guys, on the 21st of January, I start my first placement. I'm gonna be a school nurse, uh, working with my mentor, Monday to Friday, eight till four. So I'm super excited about that. That's my first ever placement of university, which is a bit of a big change for me because this is kind of like the first bit of practical work that I'm doing. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for that. Hopefully it goes well. But I have to balance that with work and do my essays, which is gonna be really difficult. But the whole of last week I was working because I have a job at uni as well. This road is so horrible to drive up. Like, it's, it should be a one way. Like, there's not even enough room for one car to fit down, let alone two. And you just find yourself sitting here the whole time waiting for room to squeeze in and go through and you can never see who's coming but around the area that i live so many roundabouts to where you want to go for example now i'm going to charlton which is like a little retail center near me and it has like you know all the usual things like asda's tesco's McDonald's, B&M, Specsavers, Primark, you know it, the lot. By the way, I just want to apologise for my awful appearance today. Like, I just had to get up and quickly get ready to go out because I just want to get everything done quickly today so I can just get back, you know, edit this video, get it uploaded. Oh, so can I just say, some of the drivers here in London are so incredibly reckless, they don't care about safety they don't care about anybody else all they care about is themselves getting from a to b they don't care how fast how dangerous as long as they get there that's all that matters i feel like every bit of standstill traffic i come to everybody's kind of looking at me like what is that girl doing recording herself like how weird <laughs> but i guess you guys know that i am new to all of this i'm kind of trying to be more normal about it than my first video because obviously it was a bit awkward obviously all first videos are but yeah i don't really know what videos to kind of do for you guys you guys need to kind of um let me know what you want to see obviously i'm going to be doing like the trending videos and stuff and like hauls and challenges and tags um it's just what you guys want to see really let me just get started here thank you very much for placements you usually have to wear your logo university uniform but my mentor actually told me that she didn't want me to wear my uniform because she doesn't think that I need it whilst being in like going through schools and stuff which is fair enough which is a bonus because I don't really suit the uniform I know it's not like all about fashion and looking good and all of that because I'm doing nursing at the end of the day like everybody's staring at me right now and I don't really know what to do about it I mean I feel like I kind of look a bit vain part of me is feeling a bit of going through McDonald's drive through once I'm done then the half of me the other half of me is saying no Taylor do you really need the things again and you're right I don't I really don't So Sometimes I just don't even know what to do with myself. Hopefully this video is half entertaining and let's just say viewable. Take, take, take what you want to take. 
Guys, I actually just saw the saddest thing ever in Primark. So there was this mother with two children and they had done like all of their shopping using all of their Christmas vouchers and these two little girls had their own baskets and the mum had her own basket and they'd gone to the checkout they'd all gone to pay together with their vouchers the man had bagged everything up and was like this is a total of 400 and something pounds and the man was like i'm really sorry but our, our gift cards aren't working at the minute and the little kids faces just dropped and the mother was just like going on a rant like well how come you have no signs up i've just wasted two hours of my time in this shop to come to the checkout for you to tell me that the gift vouchers are not working in your store like that is absolutely ridiculous and i felt so bad for the little girls because you could see how happy they were with their purchases and the mum was like i'm so sorry girls but i just don't have the money for the vouchers and oh i wish i could have done something but i couldn't but i managed to get what i wanted to get so that's good so the next little shop i'm having to go into is river island and boots Hello again. I managed to get everything I needed to get from River Island. I think I'm gonna go to McDonald's drive through because it wouldn't be a classic drive of me if I didn't go to the drive through now, would it? So let's go. No, that's it, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You gotta get the pennies out, kids. I stop. No stones. No Chanel, Nike track, doing both with some wraps and that's capo in a bag. At McDonald's. Thank you. Oh. Leave your best lunch for just one ninety nine with McDonald's Big Flavor Wrap of the Day. Typical <laughs> McDonald's advert. So I have my Coke everybody and I got the cheese dippers. The cheese dippers, if you haven't tried them, they are so good. Cheese dippers are so good. Oh, there's a magpie. I should have got no ice. I don't usually like ice in my drinks. But I'm super thirsty. So guys, that is the end for today's video. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to smash a huge thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I will see you very soon with another video. Bye.